imagine you're 90 years old, sitting in your rocking chair, looking back at your life. Do you think you'll have any regrets? If you continue living the way that you're living right now, will you truly be fulfilled when it's all over? If the answer is no, then ask yourself why. Why would anyone reject the calling to become what they believe they have the potential to be? Because we limit ourselves in an effort to avoid fear, failure, discomfort, or any sort of pain we think we'll experience. So we build this prevention machine designed to protect us from having to struggle. Destroy this machine. Destroy the part of yourself that's stopping you from living the incredible life you're capable of creating. Feel the pain that is holding you back. Feel it making you stronger. And when that voice in your head says your pursuit is far-fetched, too difficult, too risky, impossible, Tell it that it's okay if you think it can't be done. Just don't distract me while I do it. Don't allow the prevention machine to trick you into believing that if you keep it running, then it will be easy. It's not easy to settle for less when you know you're capable of more. To be bored out of your mind, sitting at a desk waiting for the weekend to come. It's not easy to retreat, to ignore the path you know you need to take. Never give up on something you can't go a day without thinking about. We all go through that, not doing the thing we know we need to do, and instead taking the safer path that has a reward visible at the end. But that's not your path. Yours is the crazy looking trail on the edge of a cliff with giant gaps and no end in sight. Go there. Go where you have less comfort and security, but more passion and possibility. And the more vulnerable you feel, the weaker the machine becomes until it breaks down completely. There's a certain freedom in that. The kind that comes from knowing that whatever force tries to stop you has no chance. Knowing that you're giving life everything you have. Knowing that you're becoming all that you could be. You'll wake up excited every day with one mission. Break walls and build bridges towards the most enlivening pursuit you can dream of. Aren't you tired of wondering what you're truly capable of? Find out. And when you're 90 years old, sitting in your rocking chair, looking back at your life, you'll be proud of the person you've become. When you settle, you ruin the movie. Yeah, you heard me. Your life is a movie and you are the author. Your life is a movie and you are the director. Life is a movie. And you need to edit some scenes out. The pen is in your hand, my friend, and you're writing your very own personal movie. And I believe the good guy wins in the end. I believe the good woman wins in the end. I believe that you will win in the end as long as you don't settle. When you settle, you ruin the finale. When you settle, you ruin the final scene. We are all tuned into your movie. We got our popcorn ready, waiting for your grand finale. How is your movie going to end? As long as there is breath in your body, there is a chance. Sometimes discouragement happens. Sometimes fatigue happens. But one thing I know about life, when you get tired, you got to wait for that second win. When that second win kicks in, whoa, you might be tired right now, but that second win is kicking in. I came here right now today to be your second win, and don't you ever settle. Why? Because I don't want you to have regrets. You've got to rise above how you feel. 
It's going to be up to you to take authority over your mind and your emotions. And a lot of times we get frustrated because things seem to be moving too slowly. And when that happens, we start to question whether or not what we really want will ever happen for us. Well, it will happen if you refuse to allow fear and impatience to deprive you of what you deserve. It will happen if you don't allow moments of frustration to guide your decisions. Think about all the people you know in life and say, man, I, I, I wish I didn't quit on school. I, I hate I dropped out. I wish I didn't get divorced. I hate I gave up. I wish I didn't quit the football team because I could have been in the NFL. I, I, I wish I, I wish I, I, I wish I didn't quit. I wish I acted better. I wish I didn't get kicked out of school. I wish I didn't give up on my kid. I wish, I wish, I wish that is regret. Never settle. There's still time, never settle, there's still time. What are you working on right now? Because sometimes in life, all you got is that one thing. God gave you one thing to do, that's all you got is that one thing. I know life can knock you down. I know life can be tough, but you are on a journey. When you settle, you will always have regret on what could have been, what should have been. I'm gonna say these two powerful words one more time. And I want you to hear me and get them in your spirit. Never settle. If you hang around sharks long enough, it will transform your mindset, and I promise you, you will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards, and if you stop swimming, you will die. And don't you ever forget that the rest of your life. Don't you ever stop moving. Don't you ever go backwards. I know what it feels like to sit on a bench. I know what it feels like to get knocked down. I know what it feels like to have a hope and a dream and nobody believes in it. I, I wish I didn't quit. I wish I acted better. I wish I didn't get kicked out of school. I wish I didn't give up on my kid. I wish, I wish, I wish that is regret. There's still time. What are you working on right now? Because sometimes in life, all you got is that one thing. God gave you one thing to do. That's all you got is that one thing. I know life will knock you down. I know life can be tough, but you are on a journey. You know, my dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Be sweet. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Go get it. Go get it. Be sweet. Be sweet, baby. Every time I left the house, my mom would say, be sweet, baby. Be sweet. My dad would say, go get it, son. Go get it. Go get it, son. Go get it. Be sweet. 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 You got to be ready to fight and bounce back. Punch and counter punch. Jab and jab back. Let me tell you something. Life is a series of fights. The worst thing you can do is run away from your fights. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your information needs to go to the next level. Your relationships need to go to the next level. To be a shark is about how you move, how you operate, how you navigate. You have to be disciplined every single day and train yourself to follow through on all your fundamentals and that's how you're going to be successful. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to do it when you feel discouraged. You have to do it when you don't feel healthy. You have to do it when you're under the weather. Every single day, you have to train yourself to focus and commit to your business and follow through. Fighting for your future. Fighting for your dream. Fighting for success. When you come over depression, you raise your arms like a champ. When you overcome bankruptcy, raise your arms in victory. Don't you ever lose hope. Don't you ever give up your mindset. Sharks are powerful creatures. You gotta think different. You gotta be different if you wanna be at the top of your food chain.
So how will you show up on game day? Instead of feeling down about your situation, try to figure out what you can do to create positive momentum for yourself. Even at your lowest point, even at your lowest moment, there is something that you can do to create a small win. Now your small win might not be the same as my small win. Your small win might simply be getting out of the bed. Your small win might be going to the gym. Your small win might be making one more phone call or getting up an hour earlier to put in some extra work. You have to believe that you control your destiny. Don't put that responsibility on anyone else but you. Something is happening. Something is taking place. The seeds that you've sown, they are still working for you. The time and energy you sacrifice, they are not in vain. When you plant a seed, which is really your goal, you have to nurture it. You have to protect it. You can't do one set of crunches and expect to have a six pack. You, you've got to show up every day. You've got to show up day after day. You've got to show up when you're motivated. You've got to show up when you're feeling unmotivated. You got to show up when everyone is behind you and you got to show up when it feels like everyone is against you. You got to show up when you feel like you're winning. And you got to show up when you feel like you're losing. It's your time and it's your turn. But you're going to have to be willing to endure the temporary struggle. You're going to have to be willing to deal with the negative chatter in your head because it's not going away. You gotta manage it. You gotta confront your fears. You gotta confront your doubts. Success is not going to be handed to you. Nobody owes you anything, but you owe you everything. You owe it to yourself to hang in there when it gets hard. You owe it to yourself to get up every day and grind. You don't have time to focus on what other people are saying. You don't have time to focus on what other people are doing. Experiencing a failure feels like a loss, but it's not. Failure is your teacher. It's working for you behind the scenes, preparing you for your next win. There is no time like the present to fight for what belongs to you. Your toughest moments are preparing you for your biggest victories. Go after what you want and expect to get it. When you are serious about hitting your goals, you don't quit when it gets hard. I don't care how many times you've tried, try again. I don't care how many times you've heard no, ask again. I don't care how many times you fall, get up. You don't stop when you get frustrated. You pursue for as long as it takes. So I have a question for you. Are you disciplined enough to keep going? Can I tell you something? You ain't met the real you until you have to use your power. That's the real you. Many of you, you're like a superhero. Truth be told, you, you ought to rejoice because you have love power, joy power, faith power. You also have come back power. What is comeback power? Comeback power is the ability to overcome any obstacle, challenge, or difficulty. You have this innate ability, this instinct on the inside, that you can come back from anything. Your human side quits everything quickly. You, 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 you start a relationship on Monday and it, you, you quit it by Wednesday because y'all miscommunicate because you miss one text and it's over. That's your human side. But then you got this other side that can come back from anything. There's a part of you that don't throw in towels. There's a part of you that never says die. 
There's a part of you that refuses to quit. There's a part of you that has long suffering. There's a part of you that when you get down for the count, you they can count up to eight, they can count to nine, but ten, you are back on your feet. There's a part of you that no matter what comes your way, you just got to bounce back up. You, you can't stay down. No, no matter what is thrown your way, you got something called come back power. You've been through some stuff means you had to face some stuff that I ain't never seen and and you might be walking a little slow now and you might just be chilling now but little do we know if we saw the videos of who you once was if we if we saw you in younger days we see you marching we we see you tearing stuff up we see you why because you have come back pop that's the only reason why you made it to where you are today you survive in environments that other people drown in environment is everything Environment is everything. There's a there's a quote. I don't know who, whose quote it is, but there's a quote that says, everyone is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb trees, it will spend the rest of its life thinking that it's dumb. Let me say it again. Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb trees, it will spend the rest of its life thinking that it's dumb. You survive and environments other people drown in. because water might might drown you but it's home for a fish difficulty is not that's not water you drown in that that's perfect conditions for you to swim difficulty you, you believe it this is what we do huh this is what we do don't be careful when you compare yourself to people who don't have the anointing you have who don't have the call that you have who don't have the purpose that you have I know what it did to them but it don't mean it's gonna do that to you difficulty doesn't kill who you are it actually reveals who you are can I tell you something you ain't met the real you until you have to use your power that's the real you You are treasure in jars of clay. Clay is not the real you. High you, that's not the real you. Smoking weed you, that ain't the real you. Drunk you is not the real you. Because whenever you get into it, you start to feel alive. That anxiety you, that's not the real you. That clay has convinced you that that's who you are. That clay made you think that the shy, scared, jealous, doubting you is actually you. That's not you. That's the clay that you may be in, but that's not you. Underneath that clay, there is a spirit you. There is a supernatural you. There is a treasure on the inside. And if that thing gets kicking, your clay is in trouble. But it's it's hidden in a jar of clay. The reason why you don't know your superpower is because you can't see your suit because it's dressed in flesh. Can I tell you something? You ain't met the real you until you have to use your power. That's the real you. You got to take those dead clothes off. You got to get up. You got to get up. You got to get up because you got comeback power. Ladies and gentlemen, Life, your existence, is temporary. It won't last forever. And if you're sitting around wasting it, if you're sitting around being hateful, if you're sitting around being jealous, if you're letting things outside of your circle control your possibilities, your uniqueness, your qualities, your principles, who you really are inside, then what's gonna happen next? There will come a time when you leave this world and they're gonna put you in that hole and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? No one is gonna jump in that hole with you. No one is gonna jump in there with you and celebrate that death that you just experienced. Yes, I know it may sound a little harsh, 
In fact, it may even scare you. But you can't fake this. You can't hide from this. Life is short. And the only thing that's beautiful about it is that when you're living, you have strong possibilities. You have something that you can be doing to make it impactful for others to see. You can't stop. You can't stop living. You can't stop growing. You can't stop fighting. You have to understand that yesterday and today and tomorrow are in three different universes. And the only universe you exist in right now is the now, is this moment, is this reality. You can't fix anything that's already been broken. Some things can mend in time. And some things are better off left alone. There are a lot of negative people right now that exist in this world. And there are people that are gonna watch this video. There are people that are watching this video right now. There are people that are listening to this message right now. And yet, they'll still find something that is not making them happy. You must make peace within your heart. You must make peace within your spirit. Life is so short. Growth is about one word. Progress. What do you want for you? And what do you need from you in order to make it happen? So if you're still consumed by what happened last year, last month, or even yesterday, guess what? You are holding up your progress. You are holding up your progress, but your future self wants you to get up. You have to believe that you control your destiny. Don't put that responsibility on anyone else but you. It's either gonna be focused on the future focus on the present or focus on the past. That's it. And I can tell you from personal experience that it's easy to get off track by focusing too much on your mistakes or focusing too much on your missed opportunities or focusing too much on what disappointed you or who disappointed you. What you don't want to do is put so much energy into what happened that you miss out on what is happening. You should be in such a zone that your mind is only programmed to look forward. You are not looking backwards. You are not looking to the right. You are not looking to the left. You gotta be focused. Once you get clear on what you want, you have to have the courage to chase it. At the end of the day, you can't let your disappointment stop your grind. Keep going. Disappointment hurts, but you have to be willing to stay committed through the pain. The people at the top of their game, they stay committed and they choose to keep going even when they encounter resistance. If you are pursuing something big, guess what? Opposition is coming. Difficulty is coming. Unexpected changes are coming. You can't control everything, but you can control your response to everything that happens in your life. And so if you are determined to keep going, you've got to understand that your current challenge is just another hurdle for you to jump over. What you are up against is beneath you. It seems big 
because your mind and your feelings have convinced you that it's big. It seems big because you have already determined that what you're going through is too much for you to handle. But it's all about perception. You can view your challenge as an opportunity or you can view it as a threat. When you view it as a threat, fear becomes your guide. Fear becomes your compass. But when you view it as a challenge, determination becomes your guide. If you look for a reason to quit, you're going to find it. But just like you can come up with reasons why it makes more sense to quit, you can come up with reasons why you have to hang in there. Do you realize that your struggle is simply strength training? Falling down happens, but staying down, that's a choice. When you experience a setback, you can be discouraged or you can become more determined to keep going. So how are you managing your thoughts? Your mind can be your greatest source of fuel or your greatest hindrance. Every time you follow through on doing what you didn't think you could do, you improve your confidence and your mind gets stronger. If you want to keep going, you must pay attention to how you talk to yourself. Your words are weapons that can work for you or against you. Everything in my life when something got hard, I quit. If it was reading, that's why you know, I wasn't great at reading, I wasn't great at writing, so I just quit. I couldn't catch on as fast as you. I had to work harder than you, so I quit. You know, I wasn't great at things, so I quit. You know, I'm, I'm not good at this. Like, man, if I could just go that distance, that extra mile, to just go, just, just to finish. I want to finish. I want to feel victory. And victory for me wasn't winning, it was just finishing. So I said, you know what? If I could feel like these guys feel, it would change my life. But what I realized, the best feeling I had was when I was by myself trying to lose this weight. I had, I had to lose it in literally less than three months. 106 pounds in less than three months. And literally, I started feeling victory just by putting myself in the battle. It wasn't about going to Navy SEAL training. It wasn't about being the 23rd guy in that chair. I started realizing, man, just by going to war with myself every day and putting these challenges and these goals and these obstacles, these insurmountable obstacles. So it wasn't about losing 106 pounds. Me losing five pounds was an accomplishment. Me losing 10 pounds and then 50 pounds. And then the more I did this, the more I gained confidence. And then the more I gained confidence, the more I realized these guys can't do what I'm doing right now. I had no coach, had no trainer, had no money. I didn't know how to lose weight. I had no knowledge of what I was doing. I was just working. I was just sacrificing. And then through that, all these different tools started coming up. But I would have never found these tools if I didn't put myself in a very uncomfortable place. We all look for toughness. We all want it but we look for it in a comfortable environment. You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. Those of you who are listening to this, whoever hear this, you will not find it. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. It's important for you to understand that your experience facing and overcoming adversity is actually one of your biggest advantages. How strong is your why? It's not enough for you to just say, I want to do well. You have to believe that you will do well and you have to pursue it. You have to keep going when you run into challenges. Those who succeed are not fearless. They had to show up even when they were afraid. And I know it's difficult to follow your dreams, but it's even worse if you don't. You have to find a way to build your own dream or someone else will hire you to build theirs. If you give up on your dream, what's left? 
See, self-discipline begins with the mastery of your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. Your dreams are important. They are significant. They are valuable. They matter. You need to take your life, your goals, your inspirations, your aspirations, your desires seriously. Because if you don't, no one else will. You do have the power to create an amazing future. It's okay to rest. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to take some time to pull your thoughts together. But it's not okay to quit. See, self-discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Self-discipline is the magic power that makes you virtually unstoppable. Self-discipline is the center of the universe for success. Self-discipline is doing within while you're doing without. There are going to be times when you feel like you're losing your mind and you study for hours and you're going to take an exam and you will not pass. A student is resilient. A student is disciplined. A student is committed. A student is consistent. Why did you start in the first place? And what was the emotion, the feeling, what was the science and the psychology behind the decision that you made? And nine times out of ten, I can tell you why you started. You started because you were hungry. This is the year of the breakthrough. This is the year of the what? This is the year of the what? This is the year of the what? Act like you hear me. Every dream requires discipline. Every dream requires discipline. You are your only limit. Your potential is endless. Go do what you dreamed you could do. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. But you cannot hold on and think that every day is promised to you. We have all experienced great losses in our life. We have all felt that pain of losing a loved one, someone that we cared about. But yet we're still here. And now we must go on. But what is the example that we're gonna leave? What kind of leadership and what kind of leadership qualities do we have? How do we go on? How do we lead the next generation? Hate is not going to make it work. Being afraid to be truthful to who you are will only limit who you truly are inside. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Don't let anyone take away who you are and how true you are and what you matter in this world to so many other people. Don't be afraid to be honest. Don't be afraid to be truthful. Don't be afraid to be different. Even being different can be difficult to a lot of people. But I guarantee you this, there's nobody in the world that can do you.